What's up? This must be your cheese. Hey, I'm sorry, cat. Hey, well, you, you got something in your mouth. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you'd like that. No, I don't. Whatever. This is our review of the NECA Bad Blood Predator. And this one I've been waiting on because he looks really awesome. And I guess he's considered like a deluxe sort of version. Because he costs like $5 more than the other Predators. And he's probably because he's got all this stuff all over him. And all these extra accessories. Which is really cool. And the art on the package is pretty cool too. I'm assuming that's from the actual comic, which I have not read. But, yeah. There's like actually shiny gold rings and stuff on it. And there's the others in the series. And a little description of what this guy's all about. Which I have not read the comics, like I said, but. And there's another picture. Okay. Anything to say before we open this up? Uh, it has a toy on my mouth. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I think he looks pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little nipple ring. Okay. By the way, Han Solo tastes like shit. <laughs> okay. He's all opened up. And look at this crazy son of a bitch. He is covered in trophies. Lots of trophies. I always think of like, to humans, a predator is almost like a slasher, like Jason or Freddy. But I think in Predator's own, like, race, he's probably like the slasher to them, is what I'm thinking with this guy. I think he's like the psycho of the group. <laughs> the other guys are just on a hunt. This guy's like, I am freaking nuts. I'd be like... If you were a human hunter and you wore taxidermied animals all over you, <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, most predators keep trophies, but this guy is just like, holy shit. Yeah, he's a little uh, over the top. Yeah, I think he's got <laughs> issues. Probably childhood issues. <laughs> <laughs> His daddy told him he'd never be a good hunter, and he's like, fuck you, I will kill everything! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got... Other predators on his thing, on his... That's probably his dad. Yeah, that's probably good dad. <laughs> this guy is nuts. I mean, he's got crazy markings on his head. Probably mean in his language, I'm a freaking psycho. Get out of my way. And he's also got three blades. It's the first time I've seen that. Three blades instead of two on his hand there. I was the one who pointed that out. Yep, I didn't even notice that. And... Apparently he's such a badass that even when he kills humans, he goes after the demons because <laughs> for some reason this guy's got red eyes. And this guy has no pupils. However, on another one, another one of him that I've seen, he uh, has pupils on this one. Then they're red. So I don't know why this one didn't have the red, but why are they red? <laughs> I mean, he's got red eyes, but why do the humans have red eyes? Because they fucking felt like it. <laughs> Maybe. But you can see they killed all kinds of other creatures, which supposedly all the predators do that to go to different like planets. I like the one on the uh, left knee. This one? Yeah. Yeah, like him. Um, it looks like some kind of goblin demon type thing. Well, they all. Is this looks orc? like a, Yeah. He went to the Lord of the Rings world and killed an orc. See that guy on the right knee? I want to know what the fuck his mouth would look like in, in person, because it seems like his this head guy? would be really weird shaped. Yeah, that would be really weird. <laughs> <laughs> He's got spines all over him. He's got lots of spines on. Both shin guards. Which, the spines do make it a little bit difficult to get them out of the plastic. Yeah. I had to cut the uh, plastic to get them out. And he's got spines on his wrist guards, which are awesome. And then the super awesome spines on his shoulder. Yeah, when, uh, when Mr. Evil Cheese got this toy and he showed it to me, the first thing I said was, that thing on his shoulder is fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing I said was, he's got a nipple ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little pierced nipple. <laughs> and uh, is that all the spines? I think that's all the spines he's got. But this is one of the most awesomest predators they've made. <laughs> um, 
He's got blood all over him. Apparently, he don't clean himself. He's got human. Well, that, that blood on his chest, that's from getting his nipple pierced. No, it isn't. Yeah, it totally is. They bleed green. That's human blood. Well, maybe he got mad at the guy piercing him because it hurt, so he killed oh. him all over his own nipple ring. Yeah, this guy. No, not this guy. This guy back here looks more like a nipple piercer, maybe. He's probably the nipple piercer. This guy. <laughs> this guy looks like he's probably. I don't know what he is. Gym teacher or something. <laughs> <laughs> Gym teacher. The um, trophies, like the human heads and the these two skulls, attached to his little belt on this loincloth. And he had to like shove it down through. And these just hook onto here like that. So that's cool. And also, he really cut these up. Not only did he sever these heads, but he cut the whole back of them off so they fit nicely on his leg. <laughs> so they don't roll around, I guess. So, like I like the way that they did the uh, the backs of them. I think it's the other one looks even better than that one. Yeah, that's just cool. So, like, you like, can see the brain in it. He's probably like, I'm sick of these heads on my leg rolling around. I'm going to cut the back off. A good idea. Yeah, that looks a lot. That more. one looks really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonder what he does with the back of them. Throws them off the cliff. Eats it. No, well, he might. He doesn't even really like the taste. He just does it to freak out the other predators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, my intention was to get the Bad Blood comic and read it before I reviewed this, but I didn't. I forgot. Slacker. <laughs> yeah. There is a description on the back that says that there is a predator in New Jersey. On the loose, who's a rogue predator, and then there's another predator there to hunt down that predator. And I'm assuming this one is probably the rogue predator. Because his he just looks like he's nuts, so he's probably not following the rules like he's supposed to be. <laughs> That's my guess. I don't know, he could be a bounty hunter. No, he could. That's possible. Maybe that's why he's got so much crap. But I don't think so. I think the I think if the predator's there after him. It wouldn't be collecting human trophies. It would be just going after the predator. He's I'm after. not saying that I don't think he's a rogue predator. I just like to disagree with you. Oh, psh, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I, without reading it, I'm assuming he's the rogue predator that the other predator is after. But. I don't know. It would be kind of hard to be sneaky with all that shit all over you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, even regular predator, classic predator's got all kinds of stuff all over the place bones and dreads and stuff dangling everywhere. Well, I just know if I had heads hanging off my waist, I would run into fucking everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, at first I thought he was taller than the other ones, but it looks like he is... I don't know, it looks like he might... Maybe his head's just bigger. I'm not sure. It almost looks like his head's a little... I think his head is... I'm not sure. A little higher? Just a tiny bit. Is it a different neck, maybe? I don't know. His neck looked like it could be taller. I don't know. But the shoulders thing is really... Could the angle of the head, too. Yeah. The shoulder things probably also make him look bigger. The one big, giant. I do think he looks broader. Yeah. Like he's well, wider. He's got these big things on there. That's mm. probably why. But he is really cool. He's one of the most kick ass predators I've ever seen. I just the amount of detail that they put into the toy is just ridiculous. It's like super deluxe predator. Look mm -hmm. at his purple stripedy bum. Well, that's why they said he's supposed to be deluxe predator. He's five dollars more. So he comes with many accessories. Which oh, is, accessory time! And then obviously it's these two heads are some accessories, and then this these heads. And then he comes with this spear, which can attach to this little loop thingy on the back here. Which I didn't even know what that loop was for. I had to look up pictures to see what goes in there. But that's what I seen in there on the pictures I looked up. Well, we were assuming it was a weapon, because I stuck one of the heads on there, and that just looks silly. Yeah. Well, I knew all the legs, <laughs> all the heads you could see um, from all the previous pictures. He also comes with this alternate hand, which is weird, because this one doesn't have the dots painted on it. However, I seen on a different one... It did have the dots painted, so I think you just gotta look and make sure if you want the dots to to get the one with the you dots. You can just paint your own dots on there. Yeah, that won't be hard. You could do that with a sharpie. And this hand is to hold this sword. It's got like the bone handle. It's pretty much the same sword that Elder Predator comes with. It's kind of a machete, isn't it? A well, machete sort of. sword. I don't know. But yeah, it's just got blood splattered all over it. 
And here comes the big mystery accessory. This is a conspiracy. <laughs> now this, we were thinking maybe this is just something that has to do with the comic that we haven't read. Like maybe it's just, like it's obviously a, a predator, like dread, a piece of hair or whatever. With a bone stuck through it, is what it looks like. Yeah, and if you look at the art on the package, he has bones coming out of some of his, um, where's that art at? It's not, it's not on the package, it was online. Oh, well there's that a picture we've seen of him where there's bones going through them. Like it's supposed to be his dreads, but I don't... Is it just, just like supposed to be a separate accessory? Like it's just significant in the comic that one of his dreads gets cut off? Or is there some hole that I cannot find that this goes into? See, to me that doesn't make sense because if it went on his head, it should already be attached to his head. Well then I thought maybe he cut one of his own dreads off to use to hold his heads, but I looked up tons of pictures, Zombie Cat did, and it didn't look like anybody was using this to hold the heads. Well, let me let me explain. This is a conspiracy theory. What? Because I looked up a whole bunch of pictures, none of them show that accessory being used. Yeah. So then I looked up a bunch of, like, articles talking about the figure and the accessories it comes with. Yeah, review articles. None of them mention this accessory. They show They'll it. They'll have it in the pictures, but they don't mention what it is or show it with the toy. It's just in the pile of accessories. And I think what it is is that nobody knows what the fuck it is. And they don't talk about it because they don't want to admit they don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah. I'm sure people who read the comic probably know. <laughs> They're probably like, I know exactly why that's significant. I'm sure somebody will tell us, but I like my theory better than the truth. So, <laughs> whatever. It's probably like maybe the predator <laughs> that's hunting the predator cuts this off of him and has it, or maybe... Maybe the, he cuts a piece off his hair and gags somebody to death with it. Or maybe uh, <laughs> it gets cut off and a human picks it up and is like, what is this? And they're like, investigating it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, whatever. I mean, we could just look the comic up and figure it out, maybe. Oh, well, that's no fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of those times where, if you know what this thing is... I mean, I know it's a predator hair, obviously, but... This time, we actually want you to tell us, because... What the fuck? <laughs> Why is there just a piece of hair in the box? <laughs> uh... Um... What? Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't know. Um, so there's a spear... That's really cool. I even looked to see if maybe there's a hole in the spear, like maybe he just stuck it on his spear for some reason. But I don't see it anyway. The spear needs blood on it. Yeah, it does. Oh, maybe I'll add some. But this is just one of the most awesomest predators that guy has made. And uh... Even though the coloring isn't my favorite, like there's other ones that have really cool coloring that I like. Yeah. Overall, I would definitely say this is the best one, just because of the sheer amount of detail they put into it. Mm -hmm. It's up there with one of my favorite predators. I don't even know how I could pick. It's hard to pick between them. <laughs> well, just you so have, many. like, a predator problem. Yeah, I got too many. You're like a crack addict, but with predator toys. <laughs> I don't have them all, though. Some people have them all. Like, every single version. I don't have every version. I don't understand how you could have every version with how many you have. There's more? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any Alien vs. Predator figures. <sighs> There's so many. <laughs> this is the Dr. Satan Predator, as we were just talking about. Yeah. Articulation is obviously the same. Like, the only difference, I guess, would be that there's skulls glued at his knees and stuff, but I don't, they don't affect anything. They he don't. can use that, though. Yeah. Because he bends his knee and then uses that to, like, cut people with it. Mm -hmm. He knee kicks them. And it somewhat hides the joint, too, which is nice. Mm -hmm. It's always nice when things hide joints. Um... This skull up here, I think, is probably going to affect his arm going up and probably hit this shoulder pad, yeah. That might affect his arms going up a little bit, but you got to expect that. But if you had that shit on your shoulders, you wouldn't be able to put your arms up, so it's realistic. Yeah. <laughs> There's one thing that really bothers me, that bothers me with most of the Predator toys. What? And it's the crotch. Oh, that's the newer ones. You mean that? Yeah, all the newer ones have... The balls that are colored differently and it looks kind of funny. Well, you got to position that long cloth in the right spot to cover that up. It's just kind of, you got to maneuver it more with this one because of the heads on there. 
But I would def I prefer that they have this articulation over not having it. Yeah, I'm not saying that I don't want them like that. I just think that it'd look better with a little bit of coloring on it, not just solid yellow. Yeah, I guess. Well, I think we went over most everything. Like the paint, the paint's good. Like I said, I seen on one of the other on the other predators, one of the other ones, oh, this one, the uh, markings here were darker on another one, so this is one of the things where you gotta look at the different ones in the store if there's more than one. Which it doesn't surprise me, especially with this one, because of how much they did with it, that they have a lot of differences. Because, I mean, just regular toys will have some that look better than others, and when there's this much detail, of course there's gonna be ones that are better than others. Yeah. I really like his red eyes. <laughs> It just makes him look more like he's just an evil predator. He's like the Michael Myers or Jason Voorhees of the predators. That's I like the markings on his head too. Yeah. Somebody can tell us what they mean if they mean something, because I don't know. They just mean I'm a freaking crazy predator, I'm telling you. That's all it means. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he scratched them into his own head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing these are probably actual characters from the comic. I don't know. Maybe not. They could just be random people. Well, I'm pretty sure that um, the guy in the back, I think his name is probably Brad. <laughs> Brad the he's, Brad he's like the, creepy guy. He's Brad the nipple piercer. Yeah. And then the guy in front, hmm, what's his name? Um, Officer... Charles. Officer Charles? Yes. We'll call him Charles. Officer Charles is a gym teacher. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I said he's a gym teacher earlier. <laughs> and Predator killed him because he tried to make him run laps and he's like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, this is a really drunk review of this awesome I'm Predator. <laughs> In case you didn't hear this, I need another drink. So we gotta wrap this up. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is my dream with Jay's. And I'm Zombie Cat. Back there. Over here in this corner. Here. And if you see this bad blood predator, check him out. I think he's worth the extra five bucks because he's just probably one of the coolest that NECA has made. And I hope they make a fourth scale. I haven't seen any new fourth scale announcements in the Predator series, so I don't know if they're done with them. Oh, they need to make a really awesome big one that's like super detailed like this one. Yeah. Because even if it was expensive, we would end up getting it. Mm. You know we would. I was hoping they'd make uh, was the uh, armored, armored lust predator with all that Borg-looking stuff all over them. <laughs> that would be a really cool four-scale predator. Okay, well, thanks for watching and goodbye. Bye. Oh, Greg, can't believe you're finally graduating Predator High School, and and you brought me out to your your parents' cabin in the. Cabin in the woods. Oh, so man, Greg. Oh, yeah. I thought you'd like it, Sally. Now, now, what do you want to do, Sally? Now we're here all alone in the woods in my, in my cabin. Oh, baby, take me, Greg. Pull, Sally. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, stop. oh, Greg. What was that sound? Did you hear that? Oh, I didn't hear nothing. Throw it again, did you hear? Oh. oh damn it man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh.